welcome here. Um, this is a bit of a trial room and uh, I don't think many of you are going to know that I'm doing this. Maybe one person who I've just had to phone for technical support. So thank you, Georgina. Um, this is my first time of trying to do this on my own. Uh, we live in, again, as I said the other day, interesting times and I'm not in church, as you may see, and I'm not uh, even in Strand Centre. It's not been redecorated, but I'm in my living room. My daughter, my son and my wife are outside at the moment in the garden doing a PE lesson with Joe Wicks, um, not in person, but on, online. Um, I've managed to find some quiet area-ish and uh, away from washing machines going off and that type of thing. Now, my aim is to try to stream a service at nine o'clock morning prayer every day, uh, or at least, sorry, Monday to Friday. We'll wait and see whether that works or not. Um, but hopefully it will be something we can do. Uh, if you go onto our website, if you go onto strandteamministry.co.uk, you'll see there's a link to Morning Prayer, the Church of England website. I'm going to use that. So if you want to follow along, please do um, um, download or, or, or look at the, at the liturgy there. Um, today is uh, Tuesday the 24th of March. And uh, remembering Oscar Romero, the Archbishop of San Salvador, a martyr in 1980, not long ago. And Walter Hilton of Thugarton, Augustin, Augustinian canon and mystic from 1396. Uh, Perhaps you can find out about them. Uh, also, Paul Couturier, a priest and ecumenicist, um, ecumenic or something, um, from 1953. Uh, you'll find, I'm sure you can find it, all about that on Google. Let's. Um, Recognize that we're coming together though to to praise and worship God and to kind of seek His guidance and His help on this, uh, this difficult day. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim Your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord. According to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence, and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious Spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The appointed psalm for today, or a couple, but one of the appointed psalms for the day is actually Psalm 54. Behold, God is my helper. Save me, O God, by your name. 
and vindicate me in by your power. Hear my prayer, O God. Give heed to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Behold, God is my helper. God reached through the violence of the proud and the despair of the weak to create in Jesus Christ a people free to praise your holy name now and forever. Amen. Today's reading, uh, reading for today from Hebrews, Hebrews 9, chapter 15 to the end. It's not chapter 15, chapter 9, verse 15. For this reason, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promise of eternal inheritance, because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. Where a will is involved, the death is the one who, sorry, the death of the one who made it must be established. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Hence, not even the first covenant was inaugurated, even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. For when every commandment has been told to all the people by Moses in accordance with the law, he took the blood of the calves and goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the scroll itself and all the people saying, this is the blood of the covenant that God has ordained for you. And in the same way he has sprink he, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Thus, it was necessary for the sketches of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites. But the heavenly things themselves need better sacrifices than these. For Christ did not enter a sanctuary made by human hands, a mere copy of the true one. But he entered into heaven itself. Now to appear in the presence of God on your behalf. Nor was it to offer himself again and again as the high priests enter the holy place year after year with blood that is not his own. For then he would have had to suffer again and again since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the age to remove sin by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for mortals to die once and after the judgment, so Christ has been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time not to deal with sin, but to save those who eagerly wait. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. Oh my God, in you I trust. Remember the Lord, remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Oh my God, in you I trust. Each day of morning prayer, we say the Benedictus, that um, song of Zechariah. Um, if you do know it, please join in. We're not going to sing it there. 
Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophets of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We're now going to have a time of prayer, and again, as I did on Sunday, I'm going to use the prayers, if I can find them on my Kindle, which is just here. Um, we're going to use the special prayers that have been written um, and compiled for this challenging time. And I can find them. Done. So let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. In this time of uncertainty and distress, sustain and support the anxious and the fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of our love and your love. For your name's sake. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, those who are afraid, those who are isolated. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for those who are ill, and not just from this um, feared virus, but, but those that we know who are um, suffering at this time in body, mind or spirit. Merciful God, we entrust into your care your tender care, all those who are ill or in pain, in body, mind or spirit, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe, to comfort and heal them, to restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to all those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work, many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And God, help us to trust you. Help us to know that you are with us. Help us to believe that nothing can separate us from your love, revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
gives a prayer or um, it's a bit like a prayer. Written by Barbara Glasson, president of the Methodist Conference, and uh, hopefully it will ring true with you. We are not people of fear. We are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Collect for today. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. Help us to be a blessing to each other and our communities that your ways may be known among us. Let all the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Amen. 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 Stay safe and keep well. And nine o'clock tomorrow, that's the aim, rather than um, whatever time it was, gone nearly 20 past nine. Um, I think 20 minutes late is a new record for me, but um, stay safe and may God bless you and keep you.